everybody hope you are doing good this is the playlist in which we write the programs from the python practical list in this video we are going to write the python program which will check whether the number is a perfect number an armstrong number or a palindrome all right let's start with the perfect number hope you know what is perfect number a number will be perfect number when the sum of its all the divisors will be equal to itself what does it mean let's try to understand with one simple number 6 is a perfect number why because the sum of all its divisors is equals to the number itself it means we need to find out the divisors of the numbers and calculate its sum while considering the divisors we should not consider that number itself we should exclude it let's try to understand the logic of the program first of all we need to take one number now we need to divide this number from 1 to less than that number itself for that we can take one variable i which will run in the range from 1 to we will write here number ultimately it will be one less than that number we will come to know whether it is a divisor of number by comparing the remainder with zero remainder we will get with the modulus operator if the remainder is zero means i is a divisor of number in this way the task of calculating divisors is done then we will add them for that we can take one variable sum equals to zero and we will keep on adding the divisors to the sum if we consider this example we have original number and we have sum 2 now let's do the task of comparing them if sum is equals to the original number then it will be perfect number else it will not be a perfect number hope you understood the logic now let's code it for that we have created one file check number dot py Let's take one number. It should be an integer number, so enclose input statement in integer function. Now we need to write the loop for i in range. It will start from one and runs up to number. ultimately we will take one less than that number because in range function the end limit is exclusive using if we will try to compare the remainder with zero we will divide the number with each value of i if the remainder is zero means the number is divisible by i all the divisors we need to add for that we are taking one variable sum sum equals to sum plus i Let's initialize the sum to zero. We got the sum of all the divisors. Now let's compare number with sum. If both are equal, then we can print the number is a perfect number. For formatting, you can use f string. In the placeholder, you can write the name of the variable. So num is a perfect number. Now let's write the else part. If the sum and the number is not equal then it is not a perfect number. It's time to execute the code and check the output. Let's enter 6 because we know it's a perfect number. We are getting the expected output. Let's try for other number which is not perfect. Let me enter 10. So 10 is not a perfect number. There is one more perfect number that is 28 let me check for the same we are getting the expected output you can even find out other perfect numbers and check out all right after writing the code for the perfect number it's time to write the code for the armstrong number but what is armstrong number let's try to understand with one example because if we read the definition we'll get nothing take one number 153 the first task is to separate out their digits the digits are 1 5 and 3 the second step is to calculate their cube so the one cube will be 1 5 cube will be 125 and the cube of 3 is nothing but 27 in the third step we need to add them tell me what will be the answer it is 153 now look at the original number and look at the sum both are equal isn't it that is nothing but the definition of the armstrong number 
if we calculate the sum of the cube of the individual digits of the number we get the same number but one question may arise in your mind why we have taken cube because it is a three digit number that's why we need to take the power as three if it is a four digit number we will take power as four in the same way if it is a five digit number we need to take power as five it means the power will be the number of digits there are no two digits armstrong number to keep it simple first we will write the code for three digit number then we will generalize it for other numbers all right now we need to write the code this is nothing but our input you got to know we need to separate out the digits of a number if you have done the program of sum of digits you will have the idea if not no problem we will try to understand it now here we are separating out calculating the cube and summing it up then we will compare that sum with the original number but we cannot play around with the original number one thing we can do we will temporarily store this original number in a variable temp now both the variables have the same number whichever variable you want to take you can go ahead with it it will be easy to understand that's why i will take this num variable to separate out the digits we will take the number and do the modulus by 10 in this way we got the digit now we need to calculate the cube for that we will be using exponentiation operator and after calculating the cube of number we have to keep on adding now we know how to do this we will take the variable sum as 0 and we will keep on adding to it with this statement we will get the last digit but how to proceed to the previous one for that we will change the number itself by dividing it to Ten. So the new number will be number divided by ten. This process we have to keep on repeating till the number is not equals to zero. When it will become zero, the process will stop. Hope you got a little idea now. Let's dry run and check out the values in every step. Let's check out the values for the past one. We are dividing the number by ten and taking the remainder. The number is one fifty three. Let's divide it by ten. 10 ones are 10 the remainder is 5 now 3 will be here 10 fives are 50 you got the remainder as 3 it means we have separated out the last digit now we have to calculate the cube of it it will be 27 and add to the sum initially the sum will be 0 it means we got 27 Now we are going to reduce the number by dividing the number by 10. Look at the division. When we divide the number by 10, what's the quotient? The quotient is nothing but 15. So the new number is 15. In this way, work out for the second pass. Let's divide 15 by 10. 10 ones are 10. The remainder is 5. It means 5 got separated. Now let's calculate the cube of 5. It will be 125. that cube we are adding to the previous sum the sum is 27 so 27 plus 125 will be 152 now it's time to reduce that number when we divide the number by 10 look at the quotient we got 1 the loop will continue till the number is greater than 0 So check out the values for the third pass. Now the number is one. We have to take the modulus by ten. When we will divide number one by ten, it will be zero times. Ultimately, the remainder is one. Actually, we have separated this digit also. That is one. All right. The cube of one will be one, and we will add it to the previous sum. Ultimately, we got one fifty three. The next expression is number divided by ten. Look at this division. When we divide one by ten, the quotient is zero. The loop will not continue further because this condition is getting evaluated to false now. In this way, we got the sum. It's time to compare both. We store the number temporarily in the temp variable. We can check the temp and the sum. If both are equal, the number will be Armstrong number. Otherwise, not. Hope you understood the logic. Now it's time to code. The first step is to take the input and change it to integer. Let's save this number in a variable temp so that we can work out on that. 
we will execute the loop until the number is greater than 0 for that we are using while loop because we don't know how many times we need to execute this loop hope you remember those three steps first we need to separate out the digit for that we will be taking number modulus 10 in the next step we need to calculate the sum of its cubes so we will write sum is equals to sum plus digit exponentiation 3 let's initialize sum equals to 0 outside the loop here is the next step number equals to number divided by 10 this way we got the sum and the number is in variable temp so let's compare both if temp is equals to sum then the number will be an armstrong number otherwise not if you want to take f string for formatting you can take it it is easy to format with the f string let's use placeholder with the curly brackets and write the name of the variable here is the message it's an armstrong number now let's write the else part if it is not equal then the number will not be an armstrong number let's change the message oops i have written here integer by mistake change it to input function I think everything looks good. Let's execute and check the output. I am going to enter 153 because we know it's an Armstrong number. Look at the output. We are not getting the correct answer though we have done everything perfectly fine. You know in Python the division operators gives the result in the form of float. That's why it is not working correctly. We need to change it to floor division. The floor division gives the answer in the form of integer. But one more additional point you can keep in mind about floor division that it gives the answer in the form of float if any one of the numerator or denominator is float. But in our case both are integers so we will get the answer in the form of integer. Let's try it once again. I am going to enter 153 again. Look at the output. Now we are getting the correct output. Let's try it for some other number. I am entering some random number. 321 it is not an armstrong number this program is only for three digit number but what if if you want to generalize it we need to work on this power the power should be number of digits so how we will get the number of digits of the number in python it is actually simple what we will do first we will convert the number to string and we will use len function which will give the number of characters in the string Ultimately, we will get the number of digits. Let's store in one variable that is number of digits. Now, we will take the power with this number of digits. Change it here. If you want to check whether you are getting the length correctly or not, you can just print and cross check it. We have one four digit Armstrong number that is 9474. So let's execute this program and check for this number 9474. Look at the output. We got the number of digits that is four and it is a Armstrong number. Check for another four digit number which is not an Armstrong number. I am entering any random number 1234. So this is not an Armstrong number. You can delete this statement and here is the final code. Now this will work for any number. Alright, we check the number whether it is a perfect number or not. Even we checked it for Armstrong number. Now it's time to check whether the number is a palindrome number or not. What's the palindrome number? If we read the number in the forward direction, it will be same as a backward direction. Look at the number 121. If we read it from backside, it will be same as 121. In Python, it is very easy to check the number is palindrome or not by changing the number to string and then using slicing, we can reverse the string in one line. But if you don't want to go ahead with that approach, we will use the way similar to the previous one. For that, we will separate out the digits and then calculate the reverse of this number. Then after calculating the reverse of the number, we will compare both the numbers, reverse and the original number. You are familiar with the process how to separate out the digits we have already discussed in the previous example. Only we need to know how to take out the reverse of the number. Let's directly check with the dry run. 
to calculate reverse we are going to use this formula reverse multiplied by 10 plus digit look at the values at each pass in the pass one we will get the digit as one we will separate out the last digit now we need to use this formula reverse into 10 plus digit initial value of reverse is zero ultimately we will get one because digit is one the number will reduce if we divide it by 10 use floor division in the second pass the digit will separate out that is nothing but two now use same formula again the reverse is 1 multiplied by 10 plus 2 will be 12. The number will reduce to 1. Come to the third pass. Now 1 will separate out. Using the same formula we will get 121. In this way we got the reverse which is nothing but 121. Look at the original number. It is also 121. Here we are changing the numbers. That's why the original number generally we will store in one temporary variable. Now let's code and check out the output. Here is the program for the Armstrong number. We are going to modify the same. We will store the number in one temporary variable. We need this zero also but let's change the variable name to reverse number. This step is not required. So let's delete it. This loop will be same because we have to separate out the digits. Let's change this formula. Now we are calculating the reverse of the digit by this formula. Reverse equals to reverse multiply by 10 plus digit. This statement to reduce the number will be same. We got the reverse number and the original number we save in temp variable. So let's change the variable name to. Here we should write reverse number. If both are equal means it's an palindrome number. So let's change the message to. And we know if it is not equal, it will not be a palindrome number. I think we have modified it. Now it's time to check the output. Let's enter the same number 121. Look at the output. We are getting perfectly correct output. If we check for any other number, let's enter 123. It is not a palindrome number. So with that, we wrote the code for Armstrong number, palindrome number as well as perfect number. Hope you understood the logic. In the next video, we have some more programs based on number. We need to check whether it is a prime number or a composite number. So until next time, stay curious, stay healthy. I will see you in the next video.